I'm back, guys. Uh, talk about red. Hey, thanks for the assist out there. What? And by the way, now that I've officially got the part again, it's not too late what? for me to pull some strings and get you a roll. I think I'm cool with sitting this one out. All right. Well, the door's open if I'm back for rank and file five. Although I heard R-Truth pitch the producers on making it an office drama with him as a star, and it's under strong consideration, so we'll God see. Damn. Oh, by the way, what? I left tickets for my real parents again. No oh, yeah, I have the Naruto head man. Still doing that, huh? Yep. And who knows? Maybe if they're not WWE fans, then they'll see me in the movie. Can't hurt. Yeah, I guess. Hey, before you go out for your match, you mind signing my script? <laughs> sure. May you always have a happy Ranksgiving. See? It is catching on. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Ranksgiving. Yeesh. This motherfucker said a Ranksgiving. Uh, you gotta go with Charlotte Flair. Busy night for you, huh? I mean, if I were defending my title against an opponent like me, I might be just a little more focused on my match. Wow. Don't worry. I'm more than capable of helping a friend out and beating you in the same night. Damn. Well, <laughs> while you've been off auditioning for movies and getting in fights with your old high school bully, I've been training for our match. You see, it's become a bit personal for me. You might even say I feel disrespected by your attitude. It's like everything's easy for you, huh? You show up in WWE and just waltz your way to the top? Well, that makes me angry. Didn't you do that when you showed up on Raw? Fucking idiot. Didn't you do the exact same thing? <laughs> oh, yeah. She pointed out. <laughs> not even close. You're right. It's not the same. Because I didn't have a famous dad to help me get here. I've earned everything I have. Yeesh. There it is again. Disrespect. And speaking of that, beating me is not even on your list as far as I can tell. Damn. Okay. I only put my goals on there, not things I expect to do. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, after tonight, you'll have a new goal to put on your list. Take back the Raw Women's Championship from Charlotte Flair. Woo! Damn. There was no woo on there. Play match for Charlotte. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I'm not fighting you. Suck my cock. <laughs> Alright, we'll continue the story. Got the Iconics with the, the women's tag champs. Man, I was so happy when I uh, realized that uh, the t uh, women's tag champ champions were going to be trash like um, <coughs> the men's tag champions. Look at them. They're not whatever fucking weird silver penny shit they have going Can on. Can you believe they're all the way up to rank and file seven now? No, I can't. I thought they would have stopped making them after your performance. Wow. Didn't realize this was a roast. No, it's just that you definitely had some interesting priorities earlier yeah. in your career. First, it was the movie. Then, you were obsessed with getting your own action figure. It was on the list since day one. Yeah, which made you super jealous when I got one before you did. Remember this? Are you still a little bit jealous? No. Damn. Are you sure? I think you're exaggerating how I reacted. <laughs> Really? Because that's not how I remember it. Damn. That's tough. Yeesh. We're gonna get to go through the adventures of how we got a fucking action figure. Oh, and uh, I actually customized uh, Red's moveset this time, so it's not gonna be the same old fucking moves over and over. Which is gonna be really cool. Why are these loading screens so damn long? Right. Check it out! My first action figure! Pretty cool, right? Awesome. They really nailed the detail in your face. You didn't even really look at it. Yeah, well, you know what they say about action figures. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. 
Damn. Literally no one says that. Wait, are you jealous because you don't have one yet? No, I'm fine. Okay, look, I get it. This was more your thing, but it's just an action figure. It's more than that to me. Think of how you felt when <laughs> I won a title in WWE done. before you did. It's like that, but ten <laughs> times worse. Comparing titles to action figures might be a little extreme. But if it makes you feel any better, I'll wait and let you cross it off our list whenever you get one. No, it's fine. Cross it off. You earned it. I see you got your first action figure. We've had like 30 now, so it's kind of boring at this point. Where's yours? I think he didn't get one. <laughs> you said. Well, that's awkward. Yes. I think even like Tom Phillips got one. He doesn't really deserve it. <laughs> well, that's true. He's like even to be on the roster. <clears throat> Sorry, we got sidetracked with a private conversation that had absolutely nothing to do with you. But since apparently you don't have an action figure, we like to give you ours. Happy Rusev Day! Yeah. Do you think he heard what we said? Who cares? He's a loser. <laughs> I heard he freaking jerks, and if I had an action figure of my own, I would team up with Red's action figure to kick your action figure, stupid plastic butts. Or even better, how about we take them down in real life? Huh? Oh, well. oh, yeah. I guess we could do that. <laughs> oh shit. Damn, my PS4 sounds like a fucking jet engine. <sighs> this is gonna be like the most fucking boring episode of all time. So, what does this gotta do with the role? Or the woman's titles? Woman's tag titles? Because we're just fighting over action figures now. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Okay. Can you hurry up, mate? Can you hurry? Okay, there you go. Huh. Yo, zero losses. <laughs> Yo, where's my? Oh, I forgot I lost. Oh, damn it! I forgot I lost my title. One fall. Introducing first from Amarillo, Texas, weighing in at 220 pounds, Zach Adams. The atmosphere inside this arena for this one is absolutely insane, guys. And if you think this is insane, just wait until this thing kicks into high gear. You ain't seen nothing yet. Anyway, uh, let's get... I feel like I should change up their engine just... Come on. Just come on. There we go. Oh, I forgot she's the raw title. And from New York, the raw women's champion, Reynolds Crystal. <laughs> Reynolds. Given the participants, this match might very well that. steal the show, guys. Yeah, and I think you could go so far as to say it has the makings of a match of the year candidate. Do you real? Do you real? Do you real? Guys, I don't think the champ cares that this is a non-title match. She's going to approach this thing with the same vigor and enthusiasm as she usually does. I wouldn't question that for a second, Cole. And that's what I like about her. She's always giving a full effort no matter what the circumstances. <sighs> Alright, anyway. Do they got a tag entrance? <laughs> Yeah, I want to see Rusev Day. Rusev Day. <sighs> and from Bulgaria. I remember when everyone wanted this man just to win the United States Champion at Mania. 
That man was really over. But they didn't give it to him and took away and gave him Jinder Mahal won. And it's not even like Jinder Mahal was a member of the champion. I don't even remember WWE who he lost the championship. WWE superstars end up facing each other in the ring for a variety of reasons. Tonight, oh. Red and Trey are squaring off with Rusev and Lana because of, well, action figures. But from what I hear, Trey was throwing a tantrum because he didn't get an action figure and then was apparently offended when Rusev and Lana tried to graciously right, give him theirs. Hey, I can relate to Trey. I mean, you guys have them, but when am I going to get my own action figure? Never. Never ever Never. because nobody wants that Saxton. <laughs> nobody wants a Saxton action figure, you know? I mean, she if I was still like with 10 years old, oh, I probably wouldn't ouch. like a Saxton action figure. That's just garbage, dude. Not where you want to be at this point in the match, guys. Definitely not. <laughs> what? Oh, damage Let's go. to the body. Nope. Spinning heel kick. Damn. Let me see if I can the heavy or what? God damn. The beast incarnate. Brock Lesnar. Trap the arm. Oh, man. Breaker. So smooth. Wait. Did you see that? It's starting to come together in a big way. She's right. taking command of the situation. Show these grapples. Yeah. A now. Fucking suck, mate. All right, Hurricane Rana. Hurricane Rana. And. Oh. Kick right to the midsection. It's Lana with the offense. And another Lana? reversal. Seems like we're back to the game, Michael. Harsh impact. Mm. Man, she's got to oh, get shit. herself together. My combo. You know Alabama you can play your own combo in this game? Sometimes it doesn't work, though. Kick right to the midsection. Whoa, right hand of the body. Ooh, brutal body shot. Oh, what a right. Man, that was an attitude Let's go. behind it. Splash! Massive! Damn it. Alright. Uh, what else moves do I have? Oh, I just hit my signature. Wait. Lana getting overpowered here. I think this one's over. Anyway, let's pick her up. Hit the stomp. Uh-oh, we know what's next. Wait. Stop, and this is gonna be it. One. One. Two. Wow, Corey, what do you think wow, of this decision? Wow, Let's go, Frankensteiner. One, two, two, three. Let's go, baby. I'm too good at this game. <laughs> yeah. Here are your winners. Big pinfall victory here tonight. This was all about one competitor's refusal to lose. When you see that, you have no choice but to respect it. You're watching WWE Halana from Crush. Los Angeles, and boy, is this crowd fired up. Let's go. <laughs> well, anyway, I wish I could play this trade there, but I had to show off the new moveset. Do, do, do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. In all seriousness, all right. even though it Let's wasn't go. as important to me, it was pretty cool when not long after that you got your first action figure and crossed it off our list. But the fact we had different priorities is partly what made this work. Because let's be honest, if we'd been competing for the same things, I'm not sure we could have been friends. You were just always so driven to be the best. Maybe, but it's not like I was only focused on individual goals. Like, what about when we went to SmackDown oh, Live and I ended up teaming with someone that, who was a great that, influence and mentor yeah. to me? I'm talking about Mickey James, of course! Stand up and take a bow, Mickey. You deserve it. Mickey J <laughs> The guy next to her, bro, is that her, is that her husband? The guy next to her? Mm. 
I really hope that song doesn't catch the mic. That's a bit louder. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. I'll upload it, you know. Maybe if my channel ever gets popular, I'll just have to delete this specific episode. Man. Alright. <laughs> you fought hard, but it just wasn't your night. Let's face it. It hasn't been your night in a long time. Now, as general manager of SmackDown Live, it's my job to present a cutting-edge product. <laughs> Why is the big which show? Which means constantly introducing new talent to keep our brand fresh and exciting. But we can't add new talent without making subtractions. So I'm sorry, Mickey. But based on your recent performance, you can either announce your retirement, or unfortunately, I'll have to make that decision for you. Wait, so you're basically forcing her out? She deserves better than that. I understand where you're coming from. But like I said, this is bigger than one person. It's about protecting the brand. There would be no brand without women like Mickey James. You know what, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, I've been doing this a long time and maybe I've lost a step. Maybe it's just time to hang it up. No, you Damn. can't just accept this. Oh, there so has this to be is another what it way. Has to do with well, the there is chairs. one other option, yeah, but it would just be delaying the inevitable. Mickey can continue competing on SmackDown Live as long as she wins. But the very next match she loses is her last. She'll do it. I will. All right. Good luck. Look, I appreciate the support, but with my record as of late, I don't think I'll be sticking around too long. Or maybe you will with me by your side. Or what do you mean? Big Show didn't say you had to win singles matches. Are you wow. sure you want to set aside your own goals to do this? There's nothing I'd rather do than protect your legacy by sending you out on a winning streak. And one last title run. Win women's tag team championships with Mickey James. <laughs> Dope. Uh. Ah, my back. So the Iconics are the champs? Ah, my back hurts, man. <laughs> Why is the Big Show the GM and Randy? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Welcome everyone to the, the most PS4 iconic everyone. talk show ever, Iconic Talk, with your hosts, the Iconics. We just said Iconic so many times. You said it again. I think we just set a record. Speaking of records, I want to remind everyone that we are now the longest running women's tag team champions ever from Australia. They're also the only women's tag team champions from Australia. Damn. Which brings us to my favorite oh. segment of Iconic Talk. It's time for Why, Why Australia, Australia is better. better. This is a part of the show where we educate our audience on different aspects of Australian <laughs> culture and explain Australia not... Why Australia is better. At okay, one point, what do we Australia have this was literally week? on fire. A great <laughs> sport of cricket. Which has nothing to do mm. with filthy little insects. No, it's actually a sport that is very popular in Australia. Think of it like a way better version of your horrible, dull baseball. Bro, fuck off, To dude. further educate you on this superior sport, let's go over the laws of cricket, shall we? There are only 42 of them. Shouldn't take long. Law one. A cricket team consists of 11 players, including a captain. That's a great law. One of my favourites. Now, law two. Here comes me. <laughs> hey, what are these two doing out here? There were still 41 laws to go. I want to learn more God. about cricket. I think you're the only laws. one. Law two. The Iconics should never be allowed to have a talk show as it'll put everyone watching to sleep. That's not an actual law. Yeah, don't listen to her. Why are you two even out here? It's very rude to interrupt someone's talk show. I recommend you go back and watch this segment we did on Manners. 
We're here because we want a tag team championship match. So you two are a team now. Mm. <laughs> what are you calling yourselves? Red and gray? <laughs> because Mickey's so old, get it? Hilarious, she really is a fossil. You've Damn. never even teamed before. Mickey, so what makes you think you deserve a shot at our titles? Maybe because eight years ago in Calgary, oh, I up. beat you in my very first okay. match. And I've only huh? gotten better since then. Way better. 60 oh, years old. Okay, so you're saying since a long time ago, I felt bad for my pathetic opponent and basically what? took the night off because I was freezing, <laughs> that a decade later, when that pathetic opponent rears her ugly head with an elderly partner, they deserve a tag title opportunity? Makes sense. She's 41. That was sarcasm. The answer is no. <laughs> yeah. If you think that we need to prove ourselves as a team, then we'll do it right now in a non-title match. If we win, we get a championship match. And if you win, you end my career. That whole career-ending stipulation mm. is enticing. Yeah, I forgot about that. It would be nice to put her out to pasture. Damn. We'll do it. But only after we finish teaching everyone about cricket. Law three, never interrupt the Iconics. The Iconics viciously Damn. attack Red and Mickey with those cricket bats. And rightfully so, they violated law three. Red Come and on, Mickey man. are going to be at a severe disadvantage going into this match with so much at stake. What are they going to do? What are they going to do to Red? Red's literally unstoppable. I mean, because that's how all career modes are. You're literally the most unstoppable player. Unless you're Trey. That's why I like this career mode. Trey is uh, pretty cool. He's not unstoppable. He's not the most unstoppable force of all time. So, you know, that's pretty cool. That's some BS. Come on and fight back. <laughs> oh crap, it's so awkward when I sing songs on the damn channel because you can't hear the music. If you're just joining us, this is a nine title match with the stipulation that if Red and Mickey can defeat the Iconics, As Red they are a shot at right, tag bet. team titles. However, if the Iconics oh, they're starting win, the yellow Mickey James' career will be over. Oh, and bang. Red and Mickey are clearly not a Johnny Gargano after that move. brutal attack by the Iconics. Look, no one wants to see a pioneer like Mickey James have her career come to an end, but it's going to happen sooner or later, and I have a feeling it'll be sooner, as in tonight, at the hands of the tag team champions. Uh, Out back why do we now. carry again? Is Billy Cave still in the WWE? Oh, and Siguri. She's beginning to flag a little. The good news is that if it gets too out of control, she has her partner she can tag in while she catches her breath in the corner. Oh, oh. what an enziguri right in the ear. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Great agility. Nothing's going to stop her now. Momentum has clearly swung her way. Well, Peyton Royce's career is just getting started, right, guys. Go. I'd say she has already accomplished uh, a great deal, point. including being named the 2016 NXT Breakout Star of the Year alongside Billy Kay. And it's reversed. Right. Paying for that mistake. Package driver. Wait. Isn't that someone's finisher? That NXT Breakout Star of the Year award Michael brings up is something for Peyton to be proud of, especially when you look at who she and Billy Kay beat to take home the hardware. Yeah, there were certainly some big names there, but in the end, it was the iconic duo walking away with the win. Oh, and Siguri desperately needs to make a tag here. I don't know, it's gonna be tough to make it to the corner. Can't get it done. Wait. Double leg drop! Uh-oh, this is not going to be good. Oh, oh leg breaker. Yeesh, that just looks like it hurts. All right, come on. Got to get my stamina back. You got to love this match. So many different things happening all at once. 
way. Get the back strap. Double knee backbreaker. It's obvious Billy Kay is feeling the pain that has been dealt out so far. Are we about to see it? Oh. What a stop to the back of the neck. Look at this. This could do it. Four. Shoot. And the count's okay. broken, keeping them back. <laughs> the I call it the cheat. Boy. Shoot. Three. What a tag team display. Easy. Here are your winners, hmm. Reynolds, Krista, and Mickey James. Wow, what a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Look out, girls. These two women don't look like they plan on ever losing. And it'll be interesting to see the ripple effects this win has in the weeks to come. Hmm. I have a feeling Mickey James is going to betray me. After we win the titles. That was awesome. <laughs> And considering our lack of experience together, I'd say we make a pretty good team. I agree. I mean, you know what? I just want to say thank you for doing this. I could be sitting at home right now, but instead we have a chance to win the tag team championships. And even if my career does end, this is a heck of a way to go out. Before you celebrate too much, we just found out your tag title match will be taking place on our home turf. That's right, in our great country, in front of our fans at Super Showdown. It doesn't matter, we'll beat you anywhere. Oh, you should also know it's going to be an Australian rules tag match, which are the most iconic rules. What, what? what does that even mean? It means it'll be no disqualification, tornado tag or willy willy tag as we say down under hey mickey you should pack an extra week of clothes mm. you know so you can go on holiday in australia after we end your career we'll call our grandparents and see if they know of any good senior resorts damn, <laughs> damn. really really we're gonna roast her because she's 41 bro she ain't even old that's young Damn. Yeah, I'm uh yeah, I'm gonna customize my moveset and uh my uh you know my tag team moves and yeah, just customize some tag team shit. Alright, see you guys. This game's trash.